What is up, my Thorn Squad? It's your boy Venusaurus bringing you back the finale of DuckTales Remastered. Last time we got the final treasure from the moon. And unfortunately, though, seeing things took a turn for the worst. Now remember our deal plenty. Magic of the Spell Come showed up after last, Glumgold was trying to kidnap yours. our boys for the treasure. And Magicka and stole the boys and told us that if we want stole the boys and the treasure, and that if we want to if we want to ever see them again, bring our number one dime back to her to her in her lair of Mount Vesuvius. This time, we're in the lair, and god damn is it awesome! Like for real. This is a fan this is a fantastic final level. And it's so different from the original game, because if I remember correctly, the original game, you just went back to C Castle Transylvania, and, like, fought against, or uh, went back to the rumor Magicka, because you fight Magicka in, and you fought, you fight, uh, Ballard Man Drake there, or the fucking, the duck guy. Yeah, you fight him and be done with it. This is an entirely new area to the game, and it's fucking amazing. And it's hard. We literally had failed recording of this um we're not going to talk about that because uh we're not going to talk about it but yeah we have we have our objective here to get back our boys and get the treasure because glumgold uh willingly we'll put it in nice terms decided to help us out and um so, but he was crossing his fingers. So we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what truly happens there. We'll we'll see how he probably betrays Scrooge. Oh. Huh. This is a little secret area I didn't know existed. That's the thing. I've never I never really fully explored this level so much that I don't even know how much or like what's up here. All right, we got a cake. Nice. Taking some extra money. Because it... Either way, this is an awesome final area, though, like I said. Because before, you just go back to Transylvania. At least I want to say I'm correct on that. I might be wrong. I might be pulling shit out my ass. And if I am, I apologize. Put your back into it, McDuck. Yeah, the banter between them is great. Hurry up, Time is money. It could be dangerous, McDuck. You go, first. <laughs> you go first. It's it's awesome, and it's just this music is so good. But yeah, the lava is insta kill though. We want to have to do. We have to show off our platforming skills again and jump off these lava ducks. At least that's what I call them. I like lava monster, lava ducks, la ducks. Either way, either way, this the whole set piece is so fantastic here, and this part is so great. I love this. I love how silo how this is silhouette and the red. It looks so fucking beautiful. Just not as old as you. I'm going as fast as I can. And it's just it's just awesome. Ah, da 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 da. No, we can't get that treasure just now. I thought there was something. Oh well. It's just treasure. We got plenty of it. If I truly want to ever get everything, then I'll go back and play this on harder difficulty. Maybe for a stream. That would be interesting to do. Play it on... Play on hard mode for a... A very extreme difficulty. That would be fun. But yeah. Th this final stage is just so... Fucking awesome. And uh, look at that. Glumgold's actually helping us here. So, uh, we'll, we'll just let him, we'll just let him hold that. <laughs> Watch where you're putting that thing. I, I love it. I, I love the dialogue they got. Like, they have so much little, just, they just have so much witty banter between them. And it's great. But yeah, this final area is a true test of challenges. It makes you, it has you literally, um, do, pretty much doing, like, all the different puzzles we've run into. Like you saw before, like, um, with the platforming, we, uh, platforming really well, uh, just having to avoid enemies on the chains and whatnot, just like in the Amazons, avoiding the, 
avoiding the rolling boulders like we did in the mines. Like, it's so freaking cool. Like, it brings back a lot of elements, and but it does it in a way where it doesn't feel like it's um, intrusive or anything. I'm helping like you asked. Quit complaining. I mean, he, he has a point. Glumgold does help us. Without him, we wouldn't really be able to proceed in this area. For now, at least. If we go over here, we get, an, we get a secret. It's not a health upgrade, though, because like we got in the moon, we got every health upgrade now. So we will not be getting nine hearts. We only have max of eight, which is still really good. But yeah, the, the whole set piece, like, look at this background. The lava, it's so freaking nice. It's its so awesome. And speaking of stuff from the, bringing back these, from like all different elements of the game, the minecart from Tra Castle Transylvania. Oh. And the mines, but it was originally, but the first time you go and encounter it, if you go in order of stages, is in Castle Transylvania. So it's like, it's really cool that they, like, they just throw everything at you, but it's awesome. Uh, if you wait a little bit while he, that dude jumps, you can get down to tr some treasure here, as well as more, as well as more gems. I'm, I personally have never been able to do that before, because I'm not the best at platforming in this game, so... Ah, we missed the one, but okay. Oh! Fire! Get some ice cream. We're coming up to the boss soon. And this boss. If I remember correctly, this boss was a pain in the ass. Oh, this room. Okay. So, first, you have the falling ceiling returning once again. Just have to out-platform it, as well as the ghosts. The ghosts are annoying. Can't kill them. They're invincible. Just have to avoid them and let them go on by. And okay. Now this part. Whoo! And we get to a little secret area. And the chain falls away though. Proper chain. We go down. We're safe. Washed up has been first. <laughs> Washed up has been first. We got a good amount of money already, <clears throat> and we're pretty much at the boss. Uh, it took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks. <laughs> oh, shut your beak! You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush. Magic, I may not know oh, we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. So, <laughs> you have decided to deliver dime after all. <laughs> Release my nephews, you evil enchantress. <laughs> not until you show me number one dime. Here number it is. Number one dime. No, let the boys. What? what? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey. <laughs> you too. <laughs> You've been in cahoots from Oof. the beginning. No, even before <laughs> oh. beginning. Do you remember who sold you painting in first place? It was me in disguise, you fool. Why, you... No wonder it was such a <laughs> bargain. Five dollar painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for <laughs> me. I mean, and you gotta now, admit, she's pretty smart for doing that. I am ready to use treasures to complete spells. Enough with the smoke and mirrors routine. You've got my dime. Now release the lads. Oh, boo hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old handmen. Better to stick with master plan. It's much more exciting. <laughs> I, I, I love Magica. She's great in this. Uh-oh. She's reviving Dracula Duck. Behold. Dracula Duck. I... Magic of the spell have some of you to do my bidding. You must obey my will and mine alone. Uh, 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 Dracula duck. And my will is that you destroy this meddling old fool. 
the final boss of the game, Dracula Duck. He's gonna start by throwing bats at us. We have to pogo off them and bounce on his head. This is a tough fight. And he has epic boss music too. This fight gets crazy. Magica will also make him grow big. So you gotta be you gotta be careful. When he hops down, you have to just avoid. Have to duck down, avoid the bill. Also avoid the teeth if you can. He is an insane boss fight. I've always had trouble on him. He is going to mess you up. But she will do different potion effects for each one, so this one causes a swarm of bats. Pretty much kind of like almost Galaga-ish. <clears throat> Just have to know where the spot is, try not to get hit. It's an insanely fun boss fight. Like, this seriously is so much better than the original, than the original NES version. I mean, obviously, the NES version had its limitations because, you know, it's on the NES. But still, this is just freaking great. But yeah, Dracula Duck. Why did that hurt us? I don't know. Said to be the most powerful duck in all of the Duckburg history. That should have counted. Um, yeah. Him as a final boss is pretty fucking cool. Like, and the fact that Magicka, Magicka's doing stuff to him to make him like, no, he's mine now. Uh oh. Gotta look out for the fire. Oh, we really gotta avoid the fireballs here. All right, Serpent Mon Duck. That that phase is pretty easy to avoid. Fourth hit. Oh, uh, what are we seeing again? Oh, Big Duck again. Just gotta be able to avoid it. Your best bet is to either be ducked down. Okay. We have one hit left. Ah, oh, damn it. Like I said, this is a difficult boss fight and the hit the hitboxes are difficult themselves. Especially for hitting the especially for hitting Count Dracula Duck himself. So this is a this is a great final boss though. have to try and avoid this also fun detail I love that the eyes follow you like the eyes following you is great it's real it's just a nice touch it's a really nice touch and a really just awesome epic final boss here it's a fearing old bat. and magic <laughs> yells at him every time he gets hit oh we're on serpent serpent one okay it's not always in a set uh pattern Sometimes it'll do different, she'll do different spells at a time. But the serpent one, I would argue, is probably the easiest to avoid. The hardest, I would say, is that bat swarm. Because the bat swarm, you only have so little bit of time to uh, react and everything. So you just have to. You have a little bit of time, very little time to react, as well as the hitbox. You have to be in like a, the very precise spot of it. Like, you have a little bit of leniency for it, but it is still. Still a little hard to hit or uh, avoid. Uh, I know I'm saying that as I'm avoiding it all right now, but um, yeah, it's just it's an insanely crazy fight, and it's just fun, and this music is so good. Nope, uh, we missed our time for that. I think this is the remix theme of the boss fight he had in the uh, NES version. I could be wrong. It's been a so long since I played the NES version. Oh, big form again. I think you can pogo on the top of his bill. I could be wrong, but the best strategy for this one is just get him to go from side to side really quick and just keep keep going on different sides of the screen. But now he's up super high. So we got to pogo off two bats this time. Uh, this, this part's a little tricky for me. One, two, damn it. Right, we're good, we're good. We still have over half our health. And yeah, like I said, the hitboxes on the bats are a little finicky. And I could just be garbage at this. Jesus, come on, you. Come on. One, two, boom! Oh, alright. 
We got the bat swarming it. Oh, don't. Oh, we're getting hit. Or not. That was, that was a much longer uh, grace period. I'm surprised we didn't get hit there. All right, uh, this way. One more. And that. Okay. Uh, is there going to be a fifth one? Nope, just four. I forget how many hits he takes. I think he takes it. He takes a good amount though. Oh shit! Should have went the other way. Got him there. All right, big form again. Crap. Okay. Go this way. Now come over here. Here. Damn it! Psyched me out there. Like I said, he's a difficult final boss. Like, I don't. If I lose on this, I will pro. I don't blame myself. Oh, damn it. Your best bet is to probably get the bat as soon as it comes down. We didn't bounce off him. That's interesting. Be careful. Cordon is very expensive. Okay. Just have him shoot off the fire. Like I said, that form is the easy form. That, in my opinion, is the easiest form to avoid. Yeah. The, the bat hitboxes were just the worst, though. Bam! Second hit. Alright, that swarm. I wish I could get invincibility. Oh! Why do it take so much longer for that? I don't know. That health. Surprise it keeps it's taking longer than usual for that. Alright, third hit. Are we getting big form? Yes, we're getting big form. Two. Okay, green potion. Alright, snake form, easy to avoid. Four. Oof, hit the fire, I'm a little bit of a dummy. Come on, I pogoed off that! Oh, this, this is a tough fight. Okay. Oof. Okay, bat swarm. Damn it! Oh man, like I said, it's a difficult final boss. I'll meet you guys back where we left off on him. Okay, we are back! Unfortunately, I did lose a life on the way here, so uh... Might be a little bit harder, but let's go for round two, Drake Von Duck Dracula. Duck Man. Duck per Let's go, Dracula! Alright. For that, I gotta make sure I don't walk too far ahead. Because that seems to be how I keep getting hit. Ooh, almost jumped into the bats. That would have been dumb. <laughs> Boom! Hit two! I command you. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
jump. Come on. Come on, you can't get me. Come over here. Haha! Hit. I and you might All right. never All right. More bats this time. Okay. Forget if there's like another form after this, or if it's just these three forms. It's been a true that was close. It's been a while since I have done this boss fight, so that's why it is just it's a tough fight, but it's a good final fight. Like literally, this is such a great boss fight. Like it's challenging, it's fun, it has rocky music. Like it's a good it's a fight. Old bat. Plus the scenery is great. Okay, we victory. got uh, serpent time. Yeah, serpent's easy to do. One, two, bop! Again and again. Okay, bat swarm. Okay. Fifth one, or is it okay? No, that's good. Money. Oh, I missed that. One. Two. Oh, damn it, I missed. Okay. Oop. Okay. Oh, damn it. Come on, we got this. We can do this. One, two, bop! Ooh, my hands are getting sweaty. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to hear that on thing, but yeah, it literally. Okay, duck down. Get out. Get out. Yeah, he gets faster. Duck down. What's he doing? Duck. Okay. One, two, bop! Yes! Hell yeah! Uh-oh. This place is kind of going to shambles. Oh, boys. I'm so glad you're all right. We knew you'd save us up yeah, we knew you yep, would. we sure did. Down that hall, lads. Launch pad will be waiting to take you to safety. What about you, Uncle Scrooge? I got a score to settle. Yeah, the whole place is falling apart. Magic and Glomgold still have my number one dime, and I'm not leaving without it. You boys get going. Good luck, Uncle Scrooge. All right, luck, we got score to settle here. Now, give me dime. Not till you give me those treasures. I want to be filthy, stinking rich. You already are filthy, stinking rich. <laughs> Thank you, Magica. But not as rich as that Chiseler McDuck. Where's the treasure? Oof. No more horseplay. I need that dime. Oh, no, you don't, Missy. Ah, let's go. We got one oh, final part. Let me get that treasure. Oh god, oh no. No, no, shit! Oh, I failed. I messed up. Yep, they got to it. Crap! Number one dime is mine! Alright, we got.
Okay. We can do it this time. Nice try, we got this. But I'll be taking my dime with me back to Duckburg. <laughs> Have a lovely time together. Oh my god, we finally did it! Finally did it! Holy shit! Oh my god, no. You guys do not know how long it has taken me to try and record this ending. Oh my god, guys. We fucking did it. But Uncle Scrooge, well, what about the treasure? Yeah, we had it and we lost Holy fuck. Sorry, Uncle Scrooge. Come on now, boys. We may not have got to keep the treasure. But we had the adventure of a lifetime. And best of all, we got to share it together. You, Webigail, Launchpad. And Epworth, too. Don't forget about Mrs. Beakley. And Bubba. And Benton. And Shiro. They helped us, too. <laughs> Indeed, they did. That lads. they did. Now, come on. Let's head for home. Holy fuck, guys. No, for real. I have been. <laughs> You doddering old deadweight! Oh, pipe down, you mangy bird! <laughs> oh my God! We finally did it. Screwed remains richest duck in the world. Glumgold captured. It was real swell of you to give Glumgold a lift home, <laughs> Mister McD. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Uh, I'll put it on your bill, Flinty. You can pay me back in, oh, say, three to five years. <laughs> With interest, <laughs> of course. I'll get you for this, Duck. Mark my words. <sighs> now, there's a sight I never got tired of. Come on, lads. Let's head to the ice cream shop. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, can we each get our own cone this time, Uncle Scrooge? <laughs> oh, why not? I'm in a generous mood wow. today. In fact, each of you can even get a cone with ice cream in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scrooge McDuck being cheap. And that, everyone, is DuckTales Remastered. And the fact that they have... WayForward did such a fucking great job of this. Tyrannical Overlord... <laughs> uh, this game is one of the best remakes of any game that I have ever played. And <clears throat> all honesty, if you like DuckTales, play this game. If you like the original game, play this game. If you love the characters of Scrooge McDuck and everything, play this game. I, I can't recommend it enough. And in the bonus video, there's going to be like a lot of rage and everything. I know that. There's going to be me raging because I'm not, I'm making dumb mistakes, but the fact that you have, like, it's so great. Wait, Tim Curry was the technical artist? What? I actually didn't know that. Holy fuck. Huh. That's cool. But this, this game is so great. Like, for real. I, way forward, if you ever somehow see this, please do a remake of the Darkwing Duck game on NES. I've never played it, but we could use a Darkwing Duck name game in your art style like this. That would be so good. But no. Oh my god, where do I even begin with the, like, my final thoughts on the project here? Um, <clears throat> This game is still one of my favorite games of all times for many reasons. It's such a fantastic game. It's just such a... It's such a great game. It has great charm. It keeps the original characters to how they are. It doesn't change them in any way. It gives a lot more to the story. At the does a great job of remaking all the levels, as well as the music. It's fucking godly. Like in that final part there, the fucking like, oh my god, the fucking like the the the, the like opera, pretty much. Like it's just so good. Like, I cannot gush about this game 
enough. Like, seriously. Way forward kicked ass with this. And unfortunately in 2012, like, it just... I really want another game by them like this. Like, it was so good. And, like, it was perfect for it. It really was. Um, I, seriously, this is one of my favorite games. And, like I said, I've had so much experience with this game from childhood. It seriously is one of the best things I've ever played and experienced. Scrooge McDuck is one of my all-time favorite Disney characters for many reasons, but DuckTales made him that care my one of my favorites for me. It was in association with him and him being associated with Donald Duck um, that made it extremely great. And I just can't get enough of it. Like, I love Scrooge McDuck. Hell, me and my girlfriend at this time, uh, we started watching the new series of DuckTales, um, together. And let me say, that series, the one with David Tennant voicing Scrooge McDuck, fucking fantastic. Go watch it if you like DuckTales. Like, go watch it if you want a good show. Like, it's seriously, the new DuckTales is so good, and I just love it. And she's loving it too. She's having a blast. So, um, it really, like, and just, I, I, the, the game it has so much love to it. You can tell that the people, the people at WayForward who did this game had, had envisioned a, like, just a, a, a vision. They had a vision, and they actually cared about this game. They made it to what, how awesome it could be. So, it seriously, I can't recommend the game enough. Um, so, now begs the question of what's next. Well, as you've been seeing to the channel, uh, recently at the time of this recording, um, on the 24th of November of 2020, uh, we have a couple different things going up right now. One was my first episode of Garden Pals was uploaded, um, which is my multiplayer content on the channel. Um, I'm going to be uploading a couple more of those episodes at the moment. As well as uploading um, the parts to the Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong 64 101% stream. I'm going to be uploading those for at the moment. Um, give it a little bit of time, probably for around when the holidays sort of end. Well, the sort of end. I mean, it's probably going to be probably up around Christmas time. Um is when I'm going to probably start my next Let's Play. I kind of want to get um, the fir the next couple episodes of Garden Pals up first um, because it's a whole entire session of a game that's going to be really short, but I'm going to be cutting it into like 15, 20 minute episodes because judging by like how YouTube stats are, um, you guys seem to really enjoy uh, like around that length. I feel like that's probably the perfect length. Granted, this video is going to be uh, a lot longer because it's the finale. So, but I figure like 15, 20 minute length is uh, is pretty good. Um, and as this amazing piano rendition of the moon theme goes on. Oh, by the way, um, I want to just tell this story a little bit. So, my episode nine of this, which was the first part of the moon, got a copyright strike for use of the moon theme. Now, now, now. You would think that the copyright strike was from the part when I was silent so you guys could listen to the moon theme in the level. No, it was not. The literal, the reason I got copyrighted was later in the episode when I was talking over it and you could barely hear the moon theme. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. So, granted, I disputed the copyright claim and it all went away. But, knowing my luck, I'll probably get copyright claimed on this part of the video or something. So, um yeah um but yeah i would just it's just kind of funny to me but um so yeah as we watch these credits uh credits scroll these two interns interns if you somehow see this christina kong and uh johnson light Fute, or foot probably light foot Fute makes you sound fancy though hope you guys are uh hope you guys are uh you know not interns anymore. <laughs> Hope you guys went well. Uh, Feature the voice talents of Eric Bauza, Chris Elderly, June Foray, Brian George, Wendy Lee, Jason Martins, uh, 
Chuck McCain, Terrence McGovern, Pat Music, Russ Russie Taylor, Frank Welker, and Alan Young. Yep. Well, that ends our adventure here. We've gone through our ducktail. And next time on the channel, we're going to be aiming for some holes as a pink little puffball. See you guys then.